time when you're in a group of friends. In the group of friends, two people exchange one random word. And like pink, and then they bust out laughing. Those that aren't in the joke are looking at each other like, okay, wondering what in the world the funny thing happened was. Then the two with the joke, the two that exchanged the joke, just say, oh, it's just an inside joke. Don't you just burn to know what that inside joke was? Or in another instance, you overhear people talking about what a great meeting they had the other night or several different things that they're doing in their club. Quite several questions may run through your head, like, what do they do in that certain club? Or, why do they do it? What meaning do they get out of it? Listen close, because this may be the only time you hear the inside story to what 4-H is all about. You'll hear why 4-Hers talk about and use their head, heart, hands, and health to benefit others. So let's say a former member of 4-H says, hey, do you remember that one part of the pledge that says something about thinking and how we got a huge lecture on it? Another member, the other members of 4-H may say, oh yeah, I remember that. But if you weren't in 4-H, you wouldn't know. But here's your chance. In 4-H, you can learn more than you ever possibly would think of. You can learn about plants, animals, or household activities. And the knowledge you gain from that, you would store in your head. In fact, let me share with you a little secret. Shh, now, don't tell anyone. The more knowledge you gain from 4-H, the, the more meaning you get out of 4-H. Along with the knowledge you gain, there is also logic or just plain common sense. Think about it. When you're trying to figure out how to do something or put something together, you're learning how to use common sense and using your problem-solving skills. These are very valuable in your life, especially when you come across a challenge or complications. When these occur, you can just lean back and on what you learned in 4-H and solve the problem by yourself. In order for the brain or head to function, it needs to have a four-chambered organ pumping blood to it, aka the heart. And in addition to pumping blood to the brain, the heart also is a source of emotions. Some of these including loyalty, friendship, and even sometimes hatred. Your heart gives you the loyalty to stay with 4-H and to try to get involved as possible and as much, and as, much as possible. Your heart also gives you the love to do what you're doing. Along with the love comes a kindness in your heart. This kindness often causes you to want to help others. Along with the kindness to just want to, there's also a little incentive with all the competitions for community service. In fact, 4-H members have many opportunities to do community service hours and get many awards. One of which is the newly added Diamond Clover program. In order to achieve the prize diamond, you must do at least one large community service activity approved by the authorities. Even the leaders involved in 4-H have the opportunity to use their heart to help others, whether it be for a chance to get to the heart of 4-H or just because they want to help others out of the kindness of their heart. So far, as part of the inside story, You've heard mainly of internal organs, but without the external limbs of the hands, there would be no inside 4-H story. Your hands help you put to work the knowledge in your head as well as help others. They can do anything from making those yummy cookies for yourself, to help mow the lawn, or to help an elderly person open the door. And then there's knitting and crocheting, which you could learn through 4-H. You gain the knowledge and store it in your head and then your hands can help you put to work the knowledge that you have learned. Also as part of 4-H, you can make money with your hands by making static exhibits for the county fair. After all of these physical body parts, there's health. Health? <coughs> Did I hear right, you might be saying? As an outsider, that might sound like a big joke. 
I mean, part of the inside story and success in 4-H being health? That does sound a bit ridiculous. But if you don't keep your health up, then you can't use your brain clearly. And you may not feel like helping others or making anything. And that goes totally against what 4-H is all about. Even some of the curriculum teaches you how to keep your health up by eating some of the correct foods. And though our physical health is important, so is the health of the environment. And the health of the environment is also caught through the livestock, horticulture, or forestry programs. Some ways, 4 is not involved in these programs help keep their environment health up by recycling or in decreasing the pollution. After all, the longer the health, environment of the health is kept up, the happier everyone will be because the cleaner everything is. So now you're in on the inside story of 4-H and why 4-H members get so much out of it with the head, heart, hands, and health. But as in almost all scenarios where you do actually get to hear the inside story, you don't find it as fun or meaningful unless you're a part of it. In this case though, it's not too late. You can become part of the inside story and not feel left out by joining 4-H.